and you have no trail markers or whatever, and you're not sure if you're on the trail, one of the things that we look for is we look to see if there's nothing the quite like a visit from a veteran musher and several of her dogs to bring learning to life at Burton Elementary School. Now 60 years old, Jan Steves took up the sport of sled dog racing at age 52 and has since competed in dozens of races, including several appearances in the famous Iditarod race. When she's not getting ready for a race, she and other mushers visit schools around the country to teach about the race and what it takes to conquer the Alaskan outback during races that cover hundreds of miles and may last a week or more. What I do when I come to a school is I bring everything that they're learning about, I bring it to life. You know, I bring a sled dog, I bring a sled, I bring the gear, and hopefully it's inspirational, it's fun, but they also, it just, it makes sense, it connects the dots for them sometimes. Steves was invited to Burton by third grade teacher Steve Miller, who incorporates the Iditarod into classroom lessons from math to geography to science and reading. I Did Read First is a project we're doing where we're having the students keep track of their minutes every day, and the Iditarod this year is 979 miles long, and so the students are tracking every day, trying to reach 979 minutes to, to get to the end of their I Did a Read. Uh, so they're keeping a reading log of all the books they read and the minutes they read, uh, and then every 100 minutes they're going to go in increments and move their musher that they created. Miller says the students help create math story problems and research projects built around the race. And they're all very interested in it. If it's, if it's about, you know, cookies in a cookie store, they don't really care about that. But if it's about a, their Iditarod musher and how many miles they've gone and X amount of days, they're very interested in that. Um, the research, so they're being able to research reports and, and also finding information on their own. So I'm, we're guiding them to find this information, but, you know, they're really discovering it and it's all new to them as they discover to share. Fourth grade teacher Daniel Garvey says the students are just enthralled by the Iditarod as each student tracks the progress of a musher throughout the race. Every day, the first thing they come in in the morning, they ask me, or they tell me how their musher's doing, um, you know, what they, how they looked it up last night, and you know, he, he was in first place yesterday, and now he's, you know, he's in third or fourth, and it's always changing. Um, so for me, it's just the, the level of engagement that I see from the kids, and how involved they are, and they're taking the initiative. You know, I'm not asking them to do it every day, they're just, they want to. But you know, you have a choice when you have something like this happen to you. You can give up, you can quit, you can feel sorry for yourself, you know, or you can choose to go on. During her visits, like the one to Burton, Steves talks about having the courage to go on, whether it's on a sled dog race course in the Alaskan wilderness or in the face of personal loss. She tells students about the sudden death of her son in 2015 of a heart attack and then, just weeks later, the loss of her home in a wildfire. She knows her story and the ability to overcome personal heartbreak touches something in the students who hear it. And this little kid sent me a letter saying, I wish I had a time machine and I could go back in time and when everything was normal and you'd have your son back. You know, that's for a third grader, you know. So it does, it touches lives and they touch my life and, you know, it's a, it's a win-win. And what lesson does she share with people of any age? If you have a dream, Go for it. The message for the kids is to go for your dream. Dream big, you know, and, you know, and go for it. Um, my message to, you know, people, you know, adults in my age is, you know, it's never too late. And like at 52, my whole life, I mean, totally changed. And uh, the journey is incredible. And, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's never too late to follow your dreams.